So you're streaming to Facebook Live using OBS and you are having lag issues. Well, we're gonna solve that problem, so stay tuned. This video is for you. Hi, I'm Walt with Live Stream Tech, and today's video we're gonna talk about probably the most requested or the most commented issue on our YouTube channel here, and that is issues when it comes to lag. So I'm gonna cover top five, my top five picks on why you possibly you're having lag and what we can possibly do to fix those problems. So let's jump right into this. Tip number one, don't use Wi-Fi. I don't know how many videos or how many times I have to say that because people drop those comments and then they're like, I'm having lag or I'm having horrible pixelation, what's going on? And nine times out of 10, it's because they're using Wi-Fi. If you absolutely have to use Wi-Fi, I understand, but you have to take into consideration that that's not gonna be the highest quality. It's not the optimal when it comes to live streaming. I can understand if you're at like a convention center and you're wanting to go live uh, directly from the convention center, you have no means of plugging into the ethernet there, then by all means use Wi-Fi, but just don't expect the optimal when it comes to that. If you're now say at home, it doesn't matter whether you have a thousand dollar freaking Wi-Fi setup. It doesn't matter. You can literally put that PC right next to that Wi-Fi and still have issues. So my thing is, is I recommend it doesn't matter whether it's a 50 foot Ethernet cable or just a six foot. You need to plug directly in. And that is going to most of the time solve that problem. Tip number two, we're going to go into the display settings or the settings for OBS. So that's the first thing we're going to hit. We're going to look at the display. So just because you can stream at 1080p because you're using a 1080p monitor or 4K monitor, it doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily mean you should output at 1080p. So my thing is, is I suggest usually uh, after you've directly plugged in and you're still having lag issues, drop that output scale resolution down to 720p. Now I know a lot of you are probably thinking that isn't gonna make a big, huge difference, but when it comes to Facebook Live, and including if you're not leveled up, if you're not leveled up, you should be hitting 720p anyways on that output. If you're leveled up, yes, you do have permission then to uh, run at 1080p on your output, but that doesn't necessarily mean you should. So the thing is, is, is definitely make sure that you are playing around with that. And when I talk about changing these different settings, let's do one thing at a time. So for, say for instance, you were streaming off of the Wi-Fi and you plugged in, don't go change anything else yet. Go ahead and see if that solves the solution. Then let's go ahead and play with the output. Change one thing at a time and see if that it corrects the issue. Because if we do five things at one time, we don't know which is gonna correct it, which is gonna make it worse. So when going through these five different tips, do one at a time. Tip number three is the output. Okay, so what I want you to look at is when it comes to streaming, we wanna look at the encoder. If you have a dedicated graphics card, a GPU, a dedicated GPU that is not tied in with the motherboard. In other words, you're plugging your monitors into a graphics card on the back of your PC and it is not tied into the motherboard, then most likely you'll be able to use, and especially it has to be an NVIDIA card. I should have made that clear. Um, NVIDIA has the NVEC coding. What that does is that tells OBS to allow you to use your graphics card to encode. What that does is that takes some of the stress uh, and frees up some of the resources when it comes to your CPU. Now, once again, change this one at a time. We're not gonna go in and we're gonna start changing the encoder and chart changing the upload and all that good stuff. Next thing is bit rate. Here's the thing, you see mine is set at 6,000 kilobits per second. Now, mind you, uh, my internet provider says that they're supposed to give me, I think it's like 25 upload uh, for as far as megabits per second, which would be 25,000 kilobits per second. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm getting it. So run an internet test through your browser, check your internet speed, and you wanna focus in on the upload. You wanna see what your max upload is and do it one, two, three, four different times. Don't just do it once and say, okay, that's good enough. Try it at different times of the day. Try it right before you stream. So the thing is, is you wanna, so say I had six megabits per second. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm allowed to set that bit rate to 6,000 kilobits per second. Yes, technically I should be able to, but you want a little wiggle room. You want a little bit of overhead. So if I say I only had six megabits per second, then I probably would wanna drop that down to like say 4,000 kilobits per second or maybe 5,000 kilobits per second, just to give me a little bit of wiggle room. So that would be tip number four. Tip number five. 
we can close this now. Tip number five is our sources. So as you notice, I don't have many sources here. Now, if I were to switch scenes or whatever, or show you my actual live setup, you're gonna see amples, amples of sources. Here's the thing, not all PCs are created equal. And especially if you're streaming off of a laptop, the more sources you have, the more resources you're gonna burn up running those sources. So uh, just think about this, the more bells and whistles you add to your stream, the more load you are putting on your stream itself. So try limiting the sources down. If there's something that you're not using that often or not using at all anymore, take it out, delete it. It's easy to remove. So so for instance, we can go ahead and we'll just do display capture. I, even though that's not gonna be a big issue, we're gonna go ahead and hit right click on it and then hit remove. We just, let's get rid of it. So go through, check your sources. Once again, this is a one thing at a time. Try messing around with it. See if it fixes it. See if it doesn't fix it. Now, bonus tip for you. Yes, I like throwing out a bonus tip even though I gave you top five tips or whatever on reducing lag when it comes to using OBS to stream with. The other thing is this content. Realize your content that you are streaming. So once again, this kind of ties in with your hardware that you're using. For instance, if you're using a laptop that has like an i5 and non-dedicated uh, graphics card, in other words, the uh, GPU is built into the motherboard, don't expect to sit there and stream Fortnite with the graphics cranked and you're running off of Wi-Fi. You got 10 million sources. Obviously, that isn't going to work. Now, however, if it's just a talking head video, like say, for instance, you're doing reactionary videos or you're doing interviews or you're giving some sort of informative type stream, then yes, you're not going to necessarily have to worry about that because really all you're worried about then is just your audio and your actual video. You're not running a bunch of other things in the background other than maybe your alerts and maybe a couple of slides here and there and an overlay but other than that uh do one thing at a time also what you need to do is you need to check out this other video right here where i talk about other facebook live stuff that you might get some tips and tricks when it comes to getting that lag issue fixed and these lag issues will work with say twitch youtube and facebook all together also you can check out this video right here which youtube recommends and until then i will see you soon